They are a solid all-around team. I'm not going to call the them elite to or anything. They are a solid all-around team. And do you know who usually wins the Super Bowl? Solid all-around teams. Not the number one offense. Not the number one defense. Not the quarterback that won the MVP that year. Not the quarterback that threw for the most yards or the most touchdowns. Not the, you know, you know it's... It seems to be the teams that nobody really thinks is that good, but when you start looking at them and watching who they played and the way they played them, wins and losses, they are just solid all the way around. It's the Bills. The Bills held the Patriots to a 16-10 win. They lost, but they also had Matt Barkley in for the second half of that game and still lost only by six points. If Josh Allen comes back. That. Oh, I don't. I keep receipts, sir. I got a drawer full of them. And guess what? If Josh Allen played that second half, I think they would have won that game. Probably would have won. Because they went down to the goal line. No, but here's the other thing. What week was that? Week five? Yeah, that was week five or week six. Turn on the tape of Josh Allen week five. Turn on the tape of Josh Allen the last two weeks. Tell me that's the same quarterback. I'll wait. And Patriots defense got what diced people up don't tonight. Want to admit because they said he was never going to make it. He was a bust during the entire pre-draft process. Now they can't admit that the kid, he still got a ways to go. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. Scared. But there's growth. I'm there. hard on quarterbacks. He has made leaps and bounds in the last eight games. Are you freaking kidding me? Give the kid credit. He's so much better than he was seven, eight weeks ago. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous! He has absolutely made leaps and bounds and developed. He's got a long ways to go because he was really a raw guy. He really was raw. He yeah. Was, he was a lot like Dwayne Haskins with a much bigger arm and much more athletic on the run. Let's be real about that. People don't give him enough credit about him being a, like a really stellar athlete. He's also a big guy too. Uh, so if you like, he's perfect this? for fourth and fourth down uh, inside QB sneaks. If Dylan were here, he'd kill me right now. I can honestly say this. You watch the two tapes side by side. His tape this year is better than Carson Wentz. Ooh, you better hope he's not listening. Ooh. And and you know why I, I said that? Because it's funny. Because they went in back to back. You know, they went they they went in back to back drafts or whatever. Or not back to back, but when they when people were drafting them. That was the comp with Carson Wentz. Yeah, I mean, it really was. Well, I'm looking at it here, the AFC side. The Ravens, legitimate team, we know that. The Patriots have dropped games to the Texans, the Chiefs. I mean, these are all playoff contending teams that have done that. And I I just... I don't have faith in the Patriots this year in the playoffs. They don't have that it factor that they had last year. Yeah, Brady's not making the throws Uh, there. Every year it feels like. What'd you say? They don't have that it factor that they usually have every year. Well, I'm just saying specifically last year because last year was a specifically built all-around team. Like what you just said, they had a good defense last year. Running game was top-notch. They had enough weapons on the outside. And guess what? They went ahead and still won the Super Bowl. It was a they good all-around solid. team. They were solid this year, the team. offensive line has holes in it. The, run the defense game has just been got... not good. Oh, God, no. James White and Sony Michelle have just disappeared off a cliff. And they've been trying to force Rex Burkhead, Brandon Bolden back into the lineup, which was a horrible what move. What happened to Najee Harris or Devin Harris? Which one is oh, it? Is it Najee, Najee or Harris? Devin? Uh, Najee he's Harris. on the practice squad for New England. What? And another yeah. team hasn't, like, stole him yet? Nope. So, no, that means that means the Patriots are probably playing Big Bad Bully and saying, okay, come after him, see what we can do. Or he might have one of those contracts as a practice squad player where um, it's like the restricted contract where if you make an offer, if they match it, he stays. They yeah, do that on the practice he, squad. He has to go on their active roster that week, or for 
See, there's a rule about doing that. Like, you can't sign him and then put him back on your practice squad. Like, he, he has actually to be, can. He has to be. Yeah, no, he has to be active for that week's game. And I believe it's there's a there's a rule. Yes, like, for one week, and then they just go cut him the next day, and then they just go to the process for the next two weeks. The Bears do it with Bradley Sowell every right, single but week. After he's cut, then he becomes subject to waivers. So if you're a team that really wants him. You go after him, force that on him. Harris is okay. He's not nothing to. But that's the funny thing is he's yeah, but he's a he is he is a he was a good back. He, I mean, somebody could use him. You would think. Yeah. Like, he. I'm not saying like he's. He's like, not one of those Bama backs that are amazing. I mean, no, not like he was. He was solid though. Or Derrick Henry, freaking manimal. Oh my in God. It. Uh, you know what? And I, I honestly did not see Derrick Henry turning out to be this type of a runner. He did not I, run like this in college. He is a different. What? He was a no. physical back. He smash mouthed. Yeah. Every kind of defense. defense no, I'm, no, no. Here. Stop. You cut me off. You got all excited. Yeah, I'm right. talking I'm about. Talking about my D train like that. No, no, no. <laughs> he was the physical pounder, right? Yeah. I didn't know he was this fast. Nobody, he he was not this fast in college. You need to watch Bama tape because I did kid. watch Bama a lot. He never like, Ooh. and I hate to say it, but when you run in college and you break away from players, my first thought is always like, yeah, and that guy's probably a scrub that's never going to play again. When you watch him run in the pros, I guess it's probably more perception than reality, because you know those guys he's running away from are fucking fast. <laughs> yeah, they all, they all, an average NFL player, a skill position player, or defensive secondary linebackers have an average a 40 time of 4 uh 445 to 455. So yeah, they're damn fast in the NFL and if he's out running them with just he's easy fast. strides and he has good vision for a 62 220 plus, that guy has some vision, man. I do not believe what they list him at. He's two fifty. Well, I just say two twenty plus because it seems like one week he's a stick and then the next week he's all bucked up on muscle milk. But that I'll get to in a minute. Patriots, they don't look legit as the same team we've seen from years past. Chiefs, they're another team you don't want to play in the playoffs right now. They're putting everything together that was last year that we saw. Their defense is a lot better. Um one of the guys I wanted to keep in the offseason this year went there, Mr. Bashad Breeland. Uh, we wished him luck because we we loved him as a player, even though he was only half a season. He was one of the few bright, shining stars here on Green Bay's defense. Yeah, I, I wish was actually, and he didn't get a lot of money, but no. at the same time, at the same time, with who we ended up getting instead of him, we got better players with that money. I would rather have Am because Breland is he was solid, but he's not he like the money he did get was more. Did you see the play that ended the Kansas City New England game today? But have you watched him all season? Yeah, he's a lot like he was I last have. year, which did, was not worth nine and a half million dollars. We even said that we would keep him, but our our limit was about seven seven and a half. That two million dollars doesn't seem like a lot, but it kind of is because. And again, would you rather have had Breland and not gotten Amos? Because they were oh, heavy no, at corner. Amos. I'm just talking about the whole fact of Breland is doing better now because he finally has other secondary members stepping up. When you have other people next to you not doing your job, yeah, you're going to tend to give up some routes because you're trying to worry about other people. Well, I understand that, but. Kendall Fuller's back for the Chiefs. He was a huge loss because he was out when we when we played them. And Kendall Fuller is a hell of a slot corner. And I'll tell you what, that's a, okay, when, that's a fair point. I mean, I, that's that that's what I'm saying. When you have a guy next to you that know you're going to do your job, he has to worry about his route only. That's it. If he has a guy that's giving up TDs, Breland's got to peek and see, hey, do I need to help cover him on top of my guy? And you know, DBs do that all the time in the league. Yeah, I know. And then on top of that, yeah, Chiefs dangerous team, man. Um, Patrick Mahomes not putting up amazing numbers right now, but he's winning, and he's doing it with guys like Darwin Thompson. They don't have this solidified back in that backfield. It drives me not. 
Hurts. That's why I would love for a Chiefs to get someone like Jonathan Taylor. If you give Jonathan Taylor to the Chiefs, can you imagine what they do? Not use him? Oh, get out of here. No, because, dude, they don't have a back that's like a three-down back in Kansas City. Everybody's like, either, okay, he's a first-down back. Okay, he's yeah, a second-down receiver. Charles, back. he never used him enough. As a pure runner, it was always that same shit. I'm talking about now. <laughs> I'm saying I don't have. I'm telling you, I've watched Andy Reid for what 17 years as a head coach. Yeah, I have he to. does not. Even if you give him a running back, he will turn Jonathan Taylor into a freaking scat back, and and he'll never get used properly. I have no faith in Andy Reid at this point in watching him in all these years that even given the requisite talent at running back, that he will do the right thing with them and run them like a running back. He finds all, and it, great, he designs some great plays, but that's what his issue always has been, and he's not going to change it. Dude, he has, I have some he bad has breaking plenty, news on this, folks. He has, he's had um, plenty of great backs throughout his coaching career. Go ahead, Dave. Um, breaking news, Rashad Penny has a ACL injury, and it looks like he will be out an extended period of time. Um, I'm sorry to hear that because he's a hell of a running back. He made it. Seahawks made us all look like fools. I had him graded as a third round back that year, and every a lot of people did. And they reached up and grabbed him at the end of the first, traded him back up. Still and, a reach. It wasn't worth it. They could have got him in the second round, which is where he should have got drafted. Was, and I'm sorry, he cannot beat happened. out Chris Carson on out there. So again. Don't give me that. It was. A, it's not. It was did, a you, bad did you did you see the documentary that came out this week about the Seattle running room? It's not meant to be who on who. And actually, last week Penny actually dot got designated to get the majority of the carries over Carson because of the production he was having in the secondary role, and I'm he was producing about in a game. He can't keep him off the field because they both can't. Neither one of them can. They'll get named the starter, and then they did just. And, no. What are you talking about? Like, Penny does fine. He has good production. Does I have fine. A you drafted him in the first round. No. Back end of the first round. You look at the other people that they they passed by to grab him. That's why it was a reach. That's why it's still a bad pick because yeah. they, there's guys that they could have used at position. Like I'm like you know, he is not a hall a, a, a generational or a. An elite. It's not like running they back. grabbed him in the and top so you 10. Do not, it was literally it in the like, 28th know. pick. He, look, he is no better coming. He, he's no better coming out of college. And with the production that he's had, he's no better than Le'Veon Bell or uh, or Eddie Lacy, who were drafted 63 oh, and 64 overall. God, I hate that sorry. pick. I don't like it. I hate I hate Lacy. I never liked him. I'm sorry. I just, Lacey I didn't like had, him. Lacy uh, had three good years. His fourth one sucked. I don't care what he did. I didn't like his attitude. I'm sorry. The, I, that's a big thing with me. Is if as if I analyze a player, attitude's a biggie. I cannot stand a what player who just like doesn't give a his, shit. The attitude of not football. giving a shit. I'm sorry. You're an NFL player. You have a weight regimen. You have to meet. Meet it. No, 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 no. You, what, no, 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 no. I'm saying what I'm saying to you is is what you needed to realize with him is he was never going to play football very long. Oh, look, I I understood, and as soon as I saw, I'm glad it, he it was, didn't because I, no, I'm glad no, we got rid of him. I'm not a big fan no, of him. It's not. It wasn't. He was he, okay. Let me finish what I was going to say. After his rookie year, right? ESPN on one of their little Sunday things did a half hour piece about who Lacey is. That year, and I have podcasts that aren't in the archives anymore. They, they got eliminated because of everything that changed. But I wish I could pull it up because at that point, after I watched it, the next podcast I did, it was by myself on my phone through Spreaker. I said, from what I just saw today, Eddie Lacy will only have a four-year career. He will get a second contract, and he'll never finish the contract because – he doesn't love fo- he said on that thing a lot he only played football because he got displaced with hurricane katrina he was hurting and where he got displaced to at the the middle school the coach came up to him when he was kind of like looking like a lost boy and said hey why don't you you know you look like a kid like he was a big kid and turn him into running back 
and he never loved football. He played it because it occupied.